Hey everyone, this is Kevin with iOS Productions, and I have two great tutorials for you today. The first one is going to be a sensor or a blur. The second one is going to be animated maps. I'm doing these two tutorials because they were kindly requested by two subscribers. Here are the examples. Let's get into the sensor blur. The first thing you're going to do is throw in the video that you need onto the timeline. Next, you're gonna throw a copy of that video right above it. We are gonna double tap the copy and edit. In frame and fit, we're gonna pick cropping. What I'm gonna blur in this example is the license plate on the Dodge Dakota. I'm gonna use the cropping tool until I isolate the license plate itself. Watch for example. Once that's complete, I'm gonna go into color and effects. I'm gonna tap the water drop and pick Gaussian 10. Then I'm gonna go back into frame and fit. I'm gonna go back into cropping and then go to the beginning of the timeline and add a keyframe. I'm gonna scroll about a second into and adjust the cropping around the license plate. I'll jump another second into the timeline and then adjust the cropping again around the license plate. I'm going to continue doing this until I reach the end of the timeline. Now there are other ways that I can do this, but this is my preferred choice. I could have easily taken uh, the image of the license plate, cut it out, blurred that and continued adjusting uh, using the keyframes. But uh, I find it that this way is much better because if there was an adjustment where the actual license plate got bigger or smaller, I could just do a cropping around the license plate and it would keep it blurred better. Okay, I've reached the end of the timeline with my final keyframe. Now let's take a look. Looks good. That concludes the sensor blur tutorial. Now let's get into the animated maps tutorial. For the animated maps, I downloaded an image of a map. Then I took that image and threw it into an app called Inkpad uh, on the iPad. I plotted my points and made the lines. Then I took the map without the plot points and put it on the timeline first. Then I took the second map with the plotted points and put that above the other map on the timeline. I adjusted both to about 14 seconds. Now I'm gonna edit the map with the plot points. I'm gonna go into frame and fit, adjust its size much bigger and start with the first plot point. Then I'm gonna to scroll to the beginning of the timeline and add a keyframe there. Then I'm gonna to scroll to the two second mark on the timeline and move the position to the map to the second plot point and add a keyframe there. I'm gonna scroll another two seconds into the timeline and then move my map to the third plot point and add another keyframe there. And I'll continue doing this for each plot point. Follow along for the example. Once I make it to the final plot point, I'm gonna press the star with the plus sign in it. I'm gonna save this preset and I'm gonna name it Map Motion. I will back out into the timeline and now edit the map without the plot points. Once I am there, I'm going to hit the star in the upper right hand corner and I will tap on map motion. I will back out into the timeline again and then go back into editing the map with the plot points. Under frame and fit, I'm going to go into cropping. I'm going to crop until only the first plot point is on the map.
then go into size and position and then go to the second keyframe. Go back into cropping and then I'm going to adjust the cropping until you start seeing the line and the second plot point only. Follow along so you can see the example. Once that's complete, I'm going to go back into size and position, press on the third plot point, then go back into cropping, and then adjust the crop until all three of the plot points are visible. And I will continue doing this until I'm on my final plot point. Follow along for the example. Now that you've got to your final plot point, back out and give it a test. And now you've completed your animated maps. If you don't have InkPad on your iPad, you can use any other image editing app or program on a computer to uh, set your plot points and then import the image back into the uh, iPad into LumaFusion. I hope you found these tutorials helpful. If you did, hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for future tutorials. This is Kevin with iOS Productions. Thanks for watching.